Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at using PDF Kit in Python and this module unsurprisingly generates PDFs. But unfortunately it doesn't do this on its own. It uses this WK HTML to PDF utility and then it kind of acts as a wrapper. So it doesn't do much of the heavy lifting but once you've got that installed it means you can generate PDFs programmatically in Python. So the first thing we need to do is obviously pip install PDF kit and you see I've already got everything installed. So then to use it we obviously need to import PDF kit and we're also going to say from glob import glob and you see here that I've got some HTML files but of course we can also use this one at the google.com page and we can just convert that into a PDF by saying from URL and saying one HTTPS Google dot com and we want to save it to out.pdf and then we can just run that and you see it's created this out.pdf which of course we can't read because it's a PDF but I can just open here and you see that it hasn't converted the page, it's converted the original page because when you go to Google, this is the message you first see. So the next thing we can do is uh, instead convert from file and we can use the dark.html and so that you can see what that looks like, it is just a picture of a dark. And of course, we want to save it again to out.pdf. And we can run that. And here is an image of a duck. So you can see it's worked. And the other thing we can do is straight from a string. So it might say, This works. And save it to out.pdf. And we do it again. Unfortunately, this works. It's created it in our PDF. But obviously, without any styling. Another thing to notice is that if we, instead of using the dark, use the snake.html page which you see looks like this. We now have this uh, background, you see, that's all white because of the margins. And so we can actually fix that. And we say the options are, and we set the margin top equal to zero and then do the same for all the others and maybe rather than just converting one file will convert multiple files and then in fact we can just do all these HTML files and you know this glob is going to return a list here of everything in the directory that ends in .html and we set the options equal to options and the first thing to notice is the duck is the top because it's done them in alphabetical order but also that there's no margin now and you know if we didn't want this right at the top we could add padding ourselves but uh, it's quite useful to know so that we don't have that black background. Another thing I think is that they look better in landscape. So we can set the orientation equal to landscape. And then we have a landscape picture of a duck, landscape picture of a goat, and our landscape picture of a snake. 
which is very nice. We can also set it the verbose equal to true because otherwise I find what it's doing, you don't know what's happening. So if we just let that load, it tells us what's going on. And that's fine for, you know, three or four files. But if you were converting pages and pages of HTML with uh, maybe more complicated things in them to text, then it might take a long time. And you might want to know where it's up to. And another thing that might be nice is to add a cover. And so if we just add in this cover.html file, this is now our front page of our series of files in the PDF. And you can see it opens with hello world in big letters, which is quite nice before the main PDF. And another thing to note is that in this cover.htm, I have this header size that changes the page size to legal. And uh, you know, it's not very clear here, but that does mean the pages are slightly different. And you can actually put meter tags in so that when you're creating your PDFs, it does certain things automatically. So you can see that uh, creating PDFs is very easy with PDF Kit, as long as you have HTML. And this means you can automate their creation rather than having to open up Word documents every time or whatever. And of course, HTML has a functionality that you can use it on web pages as well. So hopefully if you've enjoyed this video, you'll use the PDF kit to create PDFs in the future. And I'll see you again, same time next week. Till then.